What's up guys, today on Knife Bander, I'm with Anthony from Benchmade and he's got some cool surprises for you. Let's talk honey knives. What's up guys, welcome to Knife Banter. Today we are gonna talk with Anthony from Benchmade about some new, revamped, updated Benchmade hunt knives. So, Anthony has the first knife. I'm gonna have him explain what he does at Benchmade and then we'll just jump right into it. Anthony? Awesome, man, appreciate you having us here. Uh, my name's Anthony, like I said. I'm the product manager for Hunt at Benchmade Knives. And today we're gonna take you guys through what we have new coming to the table. Um, so first up, we'll talk about the new variants of the Saddle Mountain. Um, so Saddle Mountain Hidden Canyon got some facelifts this year um, all through the line and there's particular versions that got even more of a facelift. Uh, so the first one I'm gonna show you here is the Saddle Mountain in the Dash One variant. Uh, so what we're gonna show you guys here is what we've done overall to the blade. Uh, updates that we've made. So overall, if you look at the blade, you're gonna see some updates in the handle from an ergonomic standpoint. So we've thinned out the handles. It's better to hold in hand. Um, we've also updated the handle materials to Rich Light. So Rich Light is a recycled material and we chose Rich Light because it's used in the cutlery world uh, for cutting boards. Um, it doesn't absorb water or blood, so it's perfect from a hunt perspective. Oh man, that's that's super nice. Right? From a blade profile update, we've made slight updates to just improve the knife overall. We'll improve it for when you're working on an animal, just holding in hand from a weight perspective as well. We thinned out the blade stock. We've adjusted the jimping locations as well on this. That is noticeable. And that was definitely a thing on the Saddle Mountain Skinner. I, I felt like I was really choking up almost on the blade yeah. to reach that jimping. Yeah, and, and that was kind of one thing I wanted to address with this. It's those small tweaks, but it's just the overall improvement of the knife. With this new improvement, you can index at the handle versus on the blade, and your index finger hits perfect on that forward jimping. Show us, let's yeah. see that. So, I mean, if you look here, you know, you're just, you're perfectly indexed there, um, so. <laughs> uh, anyways, but uh, yeah, so overall updates, uh, better ergos, it's lighter weight, um, and then when we get to the edge, so this is completely new for us. Uh, we introduced it on a meat crafter we did with Steve Ranella, and uh, we introduced a new edge called Select Edge. Uh, and so what we did here was we developed this new edge specifically for a push cut performance. So okay. when you're slicing into the meat, you're pushing versus you know, a pull cut, right. you know, pull cut edge where it's got micro serrations and you're, you know, pulling back and forth on it. So this right. edge was developed specifically for pushing into the meat and getting nice clean cuts. Um, so last year when we developed this for that meat crafter, I asked our R and D team to put that edge on some knives that I was going out in the field with, which is actually these knives. And through testing and, uh, through a week of hunting out in Colorado, I was just like blown away. I was like, that edge has to be on the new hunt knives. So what we did is for the halo versions, we're introducing that edge on, on these particular knives. So it'll be a 28 degree inclusive edge. So the same edge that we had on the meat crafter and man, it is wicked sharp. Like it is right. insane. Um, you kind of got to feel them and look at them. Um, and it's a really polished fine edge compared to our traditional edge. Um, Traditional edge is still great. It's the same edge everybody loves, um, but this thing is just, it's polished up. It's just, it's sharper than can be. The knife was already great, Yeah. but you guys made it even better just by fine tuning those those few things. Well, That's and the cool. other thing too, so like we talk about fine tune, those are just like tune-ups. And then overall, like from a blade steel uh, point of view, you know, the altitude has just been, you know, well received in the marketplace, S90V especially. Um, just holds a great edge, uh, it's a hard use hunt knife. So what we've done here is we've actually upgraded the blade steel on the Halo versions to be S90V as well. So overall, just a complete facelift here. And then that's not it. When you look at the sheath, we've even updated that as well. So the new sheath for these is a Bolteron style sheath. So kind of like a Kydex uh, that everybody's right. used to in the firearm industry and even in the knife world. Um, but you know, super easy, great retention. Uh, you hear the snap, but the greatest thing about this is, you know, 
you always see people when they open up or they pull their knife from the sheath, they grip it like that. It right. scares the heck out oh, of Oh, yeah. Me. That's terrifying. <laughs> um, so what we wanted to do is just kind of make it intuitive and just make it super easy to unsheath your knife. So with this knife in particular and sheath, you literally just push it up with your thumb and voila. Which is a huge improvement. Yeah. I, that is like my biggest qualm with any kind of kydex or synthetic sheath is it's always it clips in good yep. great retention safe you know but man when you're pulling it out yeah. it just feels like if i screw this up yeah. i'm gonna slice all my fingers yeah. off and that's not a fun thing no especially when you're in the backcountry hunting you know yeah nobody wants to slice their yeah. phalanges <laughs> when yeah. they're uh, nobody, out in the middle you want to keep those yeah you need your phalanges so that's the saddle mountain um, similar upgrades with the Hidden Canyon as well. Uh, cool. So this is the Dash 1 uh, variant of the Hidden Canyon. Very similar upgrades. Handle material is the same. S90V. We've also upgraded the jimping as well. Oh, and then the one thing I forgot to mention too is if you turn the knife over to the spine, there's an orange layer of G10. So if you do set your knife down on the ground when you're working on an animal, most people do, take right. a break, whatever you're doing, uh, there's that orange G10 layer there. So it kind of pops. Flashy. Yeah. So, so you don't lose it. Yeah, I've done exactly. that. I've lost so many knives out there. And so this also uh, incorporates the select edge here. Uh, but just a sleek new upgrade for the Hidden Canyon. Um, just a super easy knife to carry in your pack um, or in the versions that you're gonna show on your uh, belt as well. Right. So another great addition there. I think the additions, I just want you guys to know, the additions that they're making to these hunt knives, it, in your hand, it's phenomenal. Slimmed up the handles a little bit, you get a uh, better quality steel, it's just, it's insane. It really is. They just took everything up one more notch. Yeah. And I think the next knife I'm going to show you, I think is that definite, like one more notch of like, how do you make a great knife even better? Right. And that's the steep country. So this is our, our price point entry level fixed blade hunt knife. Um, and this knife in particular has been my new favorite knife to carry in my pack. Uh, so when we talk about what we've updated here in particular, I would focus on the blade. Um, same steel, S30V, but we went to a full utility grind. So what that does for you is from a slicing perspective, it slices like a dream. Everything came together on this blade that you can use for big game, you can use for waterfowl, you can use for pretty much anything, uh, small game, whatever. Um, this is my go-to knife for pretty much all of my tasks that I need to handle. Right. Um, the handle is also updated as well. It's a Santa Prime handle, so you kind of get that uh, rubber texture feel in it. So it's super grippy in hand. So if you do have blood on hand, it, you know there's no issues there. We've also updated the texture on the handle as well and updated the ergos on this. We've thinned out the blade profile, so it's lighter. I think it comes in around three ounces or so. And then again, hitting that sheath as well. So you get the bolter on sheath again, and again with a thumb press and you're in business, so. I gotta be honest, the new grind on that blade has got me really excited. I, when those drop, I will be having one of those on my, Absolutely. on my pack. That's cool. Well, okay, so I heard you mention Halo. Yeah. So the, explain the Halo thing so to me. So when we talk Halo, it's more of like our premium, right? It's like right. the premium version of it. So in what we mean by premium is all the upgraded materials, right? So with this, you're getting the rich light, the S90V, the new blade tech or edge technology that we're doing. Um, so when you go over to our traditional uh, saddle mountains, you know, you'll get all the things that consumers are used to and what they loved about those knives just in a more refined blade geometry handle ergonomics. Nice. You'll get the same exact thing, just an S30V with stabilized wood. But if you are somebody who, you know, wants the, you know, kitchen sink in their knife, this is it. You know, you get s 90 v rich light, you get that G10 layer, you get that edge technology, the bolter on sheath. This is the kitchen sink. Dude, I'm so excited. And I over here have some slightly updated yeah. uh, fixed blades. The original hunt, like what were originally the hunt series yeah. knives. And if I were to set it up and explain it to somebody of like different style of hunting, I, you know, this knife in particular, or these two, the Saddle Mountain and Hidden Canyon and the premium versions, I would set these up more for like a Western big game hunter. Um, it's for a guy that's gonna put his knife in his pack or carry it in his kill kit or something like that. 
where the traditional ones they have the you know full leather sheath you can carry it on your hip um, you can still put that in your pack you can hang it off your pack as well right. uh, but that's definitely geared more towards I'd say the eastern big game hunter where these are geared towards the western big game hunter right that's just how we set up the story you can use it however you want and it's yeah. not to say if you're a western guy you can only buy this one right, because there's right. guys out here on the west oh, that sure. like to hang their knives off their belt too so right yeah uh, you mentioned kill kit. We're gonna yeah. actually bring his kill kit on camera at the end, but let's jump into these. Okay, so I have two Saddle Mountain Skinners, one with a gut hook, one without. Look at this. This leather sheath, this is what I have been wanting the industry to do with leather sheaths for a long time. For any really good, like a nice hunt knife. Yeah. Man, if you're having a leather belt carry sheath, I am a firm believer in pressing the leather. Pressing the leather is huge because you get, get actual retention. amazing yeah. retention. Like I'm I'm really getting it, yeah. but you don't have to snap it really. I mean, right. you could leave it unsnapped on your exactly. belt and you're not worried about your knife falling out. Right, exactly. Plus you got the really cool embossed logo there, good excellent stitching and there are some leathers out there that, oh, it's leather, but... You can smell it. Oh my gosh, that is, that's good stuff right there. Okay, so tell me what you have you guys have upgraded and done to this, this Saddle Mountain. Yeah, so basically, I mean, this goes for all of them, right? So in particular for the traditional versions, uh, so handle ergonomics have been updated. The profile of the blade has also been thinned out to make it a little bit lighter. Um, when we talked about the jimping locations, that's also been updated there as well. Um, so all the same updates that we've done here, you're getting there just in the S30V and stabilized wood. So there's no difference in a blade geometry or anything like that. Right. Um, you will get our traditional edge on there. You won't get select edge. Right. Um, so that is definitely an upgrade with the premium versions. For sure. Um, but you know, we've ran that same edge in all of our knives and it's a great edge. There's oh, nothing yeah. to knock on that edge. Yeah, this is tried and true. It's tried and true and this is this is like the Ferrari and Dude, I, I love it uh with the gut hook variation of the saddle mountain. I personally don't use a gut hook. Yeah. But a lot of people it's out there. A lot there of people do. that do, yeah. 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 But it's cool to see the little uh, cutout for yep. the hook. Yep. I just love it. I think it's a cleaner way to display a fixed blade in a leather sheath, which is to me important. Yeah. If I'm buying a leather sheath, I'm buying it for the leather, not just have it be a sheath. Absolutely. All right, so we've got one more up here and this is the Hidden Canyon and it's it's got all the same upgrades, right? Yeah, same upgrades, stabilized wood on this one, S30V. Um, upgrade, you know, updated jimping locations as well. Um, and then, you know, the big thing on the Hidden Canyon, um, you know, is a big upgrade is actually in the sharpening choil. Okay. And we've actually reduced the height of that. So, and this just goes from years of feedback that we're getting from, it, you know, infield testers and everybody right. that, you know, sometimes that would get caught up as somebody was skinning an animal or something. So we actually reduced the size of that and the height um, uh, quite a bit if you compare the two. Right, no, it's um, noticeable. Yeah, it's, it's fairly noticeable and especially when you're working on the animal, so. That's really cool. Now, did these get slimmed down yes. as well, yeah. the, the handles? Yeah, all the handles are slimmed down. We've added contour to them. Uh, yeah, overall, just everything from the ergo standpoint is something we're really focusing on, trying to avoid hot spots. Um, you know, even when you are, you know, let's say you're indexing the blade, you know, this, uh, actually put it here, uh, but this slant here actually fits, you know, if you're indexing that, you can feel that in your hand. It's designed right. to sit there yeah, and it, not create any hot spots. It sits flat it in sits the flat. bottom of your Super palm. Super comfortable. Same thing with the Saddle Mountain, steep country. So there's a lot of thought that goes into it as far as like, you know, where you're holding it, how you're holding it, avoiding hot spots and right. just making it comfortable for users in the field. You know, sometimes if you're working on an elk or moose or something, big game, you could be out there for a couple hours working on that animal. So you want something comfortable. Right. Absolutely. Hey, speaking of being out there with an animal, let's take a look at that kill kit. All right, so brought my kill kit. This is actually what I carry in the field. Uh, currently, I've got this set up for actually a mule deer hunt going on in uh, Idaho in a couple weeks. Um, so take you guys through that and how I would carry a knife in my pack. 
Yeah, no, so, that's great. Uh, what I carry in this is, just so people maybe don't understand what a kill kit is, is so right. you put that animal on the ground, everything's in one central location, right? So I've got... Which is so nice, yeah. because in my pack, <laughs> it's all stuffed down to the bottom, of, yeah. like the very bottom. That gets messy, right? Yeah. So I carry, you know, in this little pouch, I have... Game bags, I have a Ziploc bag with zip ties, electrical tape, my tags, a sharpener, my knife, and then I also carry a, a mat to throw down to keep all my meat clean. Nice. So yeah, we'll take you guys through that. So this is my game bags. So, and nice. this varies from, you know, animal to animal, right? So if oh, going for sure. mule deer hunting, don't need as many bags as I would need in the field for elk hunting. So I change it out in, uh, based on my hunts. Right. So that's that. And then uh, I carry this little Ziploc bag, usually my tags in here, but uh, you know, key components in here, zip dies to tie the tag on an antler or electrical tape or to tape up a barrel if it's wet outside. And then I also carry a EDC sharpener. So I carry a just super lightweight sharpener. And what that has on it is a ceramic rod and leather strop. If I need to touch up my knife while I'm in the field, it's super easy. It's super lightweight right. and it does everything I need it to do. Yeah. Um, so that's that in there. And then obviously the knife. So as we talked about, I carry the steep country. Um, so depending on what type of hunt I am on again, just depends, right? Right. So I sure. might carry the steep country. I might carry the saddle mountain, just depending on the size of the animal and or I might carry an altitude. Um, so just varies on the hunt. And, uh, you know, that always stays in there. I know where all that stuff is. And then, uh, like I said, I also carry some type of a, this can be used as a shelter. This can be used as a, you know, throw pad or throw uh, like, uh, like a mat basically to lay right. down, keep all my meat clean, keep everything, uh, no bugs or not bugs, right. but dirt and dirt. all the junk off of yep. it, twigs, all that. Uh, but yeah, super easy, super lightweight. Everything's in one central location. That's cool. So there you guys go. Get one of these new knives and you can build your own kill kit. Which I think is genius because in my bag, it literally, all that stuff is just shoved at the very bottom. I'm an organization freak, so. See, and I'm <laughs> not, so this is good. I see this, check yeah. out the new knives. Man, I'm excited. So, all right guys, that's what we have. We have these Benchmade Hunt fixed blade knives on the website right now. Uh, depending on when this video drops, uh, the Steep Country will be here or not. Keep an eye on the website. You guys are definitely gonna wanna get your hands on one of these and we'll see you on the next one. What's up guys? Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And also if you're interested in more Benchmade hunt knives, jump over to our website, bladehq.com and check them out. Also, check out this playlist right over here because it's awesome.